Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at Noivern and Friends, or just Noivern Spirit 2 Ultra Beast, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is an archetype that I've cooked up here, um, and honestly, it's actually pretty fun. So the idea is just we're going to be using multiple Pokemon in certain scenarios. We have Noivern here with Boom Burst. It is the new flying flip, being able to do 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, obviously, there is a huge problem with this deck, and that is going to be Mew. Mew stops Boom Burst from working, and Mew also really does hurt Spiritomb, too. So Mew is just a really bad card to see. But when they don't have Mew, uh, Boom Burst runs wild. We have Spiritombs, we have Hustle Bell, we have Jinx. We have a lot of ways to make Spiritomb really good. It's like we're going to be using Boom Burst. Even just putting 40 damage on everything just means that they have more damage on them for Spiritomb to KO them down the road with... Uh, the Anguish Cry with the Hustle Bell. So that is pretty much the idea of the deck is Spirit Tomb and Noivern kind of coming together. Noivern making Spirit Tomb, you know, reach one hit KOs. Noivern can also just knock stuff out that have low HP. And stuff stuff to be KO'd too, which is pretty good. So before we end the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, you're ever in any need of any PDCGO codes for any packs like Hidden Fate or Team Up or Unbroken Bonds or, um, or Unified Minds. Or you want to get other Pokemon... Uh, TCGO codes like Pokemon GX codes for like the Reshizard deck codes or Pikaram deck codes or you guys are trying to get LE trainer box codes or trainer kit codes get you know some of those sleeves or whatever uh get over to Kurgan TCG they do have a singles website too that I also have linked down below you can go to their singles website and use my discount code code LDF um, at the checkout um and if you do end up ordering something use that code and you get yourself a five percent discount on your order and uh, supports the channel, helps Car Cavern out, helps yourself out. It's a win-win for everyone. So make sure to use Car, uh, Car Cavern TCG to get your codes. Use code LDF. And yeah, let's check out the deck now. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting deck here. Um, I actually do like it. Um, I had fun playing it. Uh, I didn't really know what to do with Noivern at first. I was like, yeah, this card is pretty weird. Um, I wanted to make it work because the fact that it has Flying Flip for one energy is you know, already really good. Um, so I was like, okay, this thing can do Flying Flip for a single energy. On a stage one, however, that's treasurable, not bad in this format. But the problem is Mew, but I was like, okay, well, how the heck would I play this? We don't have counter energy anymore, so I can't really see much use for using it with Weezing and Tapu Lele. But then I was like, wait, why don't I just pair it with Spiritomb? Because we can use Noivern to spread damage across the board, and we can then have Spiritomb's Anguish Cry with a Hustle Bell do even more damage. So if you have, I think, all the damage you can on Spiritomb, which is five damage counters on spirit tomb obviously because it will get knocked out if you have five damage counters on spirit tomb i think your anguish cry is doing 160 damage with a hustle belt that's 220 with a shrine that's 230 with noivern that is 250 and with multiple boomers that's like 270 damage in total which is enough to tackle reshizard so that's why I thought this was a cool idea. Boom Burst can help you with your math. You can also use it to set stuff to be killed by Sledgehammer. And of course, Beast Game being another big one. So I was like, this is actually a really good combo. Noivern and um, Spirit Tomb. And the Spirit Tomb Jinx combo has actually been really good too in the past. Ominous Posture. Once you're in turn, you may move one damage counter from your Pokemon to another one your Pokemon. Very cool combo for Spirit Tomb because this allows you to essentially power up your Spirit Tomb a lot easier. If you play Rainbow Energy down, you can put that Rainbow Damage on Spirit Tomb. You can build in Spite to another Spirit Tomb. Like, there's a lot of combos you can do with Jinx. It's really good um, in this deck for Spirit Tomb. It's, like, one of the best partners Spirit Tomb has. Some other things in the deck. Uh, Ultra Beast, obviously. Like, Buzzwolf for Sledgehammer against Picarom. Fuzzmosa is also how we can win games through Beast Game. Uh, I am playing the Nihiligo. A lot of the time, we won't be using Buzzmosa. So, it's, like, Nihiligo can still work. And we have Tapu Fini. Just a really good card against Blounds and, like, things that play in Ganondorf. Uh, and then, of course, we have our own Mew. Uh, this deck does obviously lose to spread itself because Spirit Tomb's low HP. It'll have a lot of the time. Mew is really bad for this deck in general, so a lot of the time we're going to be trying to target it with our custom catchers. If they have a Mew in play, we want to knock that out so we can get Boom Burst available. And we also don't have to worry about Spirit Tomb getting, you know, donked by side power. I mean, I guess this deck also loses really badly to Malamar. So, I don't know. Against tag teams, though, this is pretty good. And we got a Hoop on the deck for Evil Admonition, another really good attacker. And that's it for the Pokemon... Uh, I was thinking of maybe running, like, Frostlass in the deck, too, but, like, there's no room. Going into the items now, we got four Custom Catchers to be able to, uh, you know, knock stuff out, especially Muse. Three Treasures, four Pokecoms. I want to play four Treasures, but I need room for other stuff. I got two Switches in the deck in case we, you know, need to play a Switch. Uh, I got two Shrine and one Power Plant. Shrine can actually go well with Buzzmosa, too, because you can actually use Shrine with Jinx 
with spirit tomb just another really cool combo but yeah shrine obviously for that damage output really good with boom burst and also helps you reach better numbers with spirit tomb uh, power plant for the mu3 matchup and other stuff uh, we got four cynthia for lily two erica just going all all heavy on the supporters uh, now, going into the tools now, we got three Hustle Belts for Spirit Tomb, but I'm also playing one copy of Dragon Talon, a bit of a meme card, but if we have Dragon Talon on Noivern, he gets hit by an attack, they take 30 damage? Why not? Try that out, see how relevant it is. I got one Beast Energy, one Dark Energy, four units for Fairy, Dark, and Fighting, because Fighting with Buzzwool, you know, four Rainbow Energies, and yeah, that's it for the list here. This is my Noivern Spirit Tomb and Friends deck, or just Noivern Spirit Tomb Jinx, whatever you want to call it. Let's go try the deck out on PC Joe and see if this deck is any good. All right, guys, let's go do some games now with the Noivern and Spirit Tomb and Friends deck, whatever you want to call it. Noivern Spirit Tomb, Noivern and Friends. Let's see what we're going into here. All right, first game. It looks like we're playing against potentially Quagnag. Uh, again, one of the main problems the deck is definitely going to face is going to be Mew. Mew is pretty bad, but if they ever bench it, we can always try to knock it out with Custom Catcher. So, while Mew is definitely a issue for us, we have, you know, answers to it. We're going to start with the Spirit Tomb here. Not the ideal start I would want, but that's fine. Obviously, you want to be starting with Noibat. Even Buzzle sometimes isn't bad. Buzzmosa too. And now we actually just opened with Mew. Thank you. All right, we can just actually flat out knock this thing out. Uh, looks like he's playing Lost March. So assuming this thing doesn't retreat, we can take a knockout here, which I would like to do because this Mew is going to get in the way of us winning. This Mew is a big pain in my side. And this guy actually just got a turn one quad hop it without playing an Elm's Lecture. That is something else. Alright, he didn't retreat. That's good. That's really good, actually. Um, do check with Feeny. We don't really need this, do we? No, we'll get rid of it. Uh, we got Noibat. I get Jinx when I'm bad either, to be honest. I am trying to knock this thing out this turn. Alright, let's go for the Lily. Okay. I've seen worse. Alright, we can just slap the rainbow on. And knock him out. Alright, Mew is out of the way now, so now we have free control of Boom Burst. The only problem is Boom Burst might not be as effective here. In a matchup like this, we don't really need the Noivern. It's really going to come down to Spirit Tomb. We'll see if the uh, Spirit Tomb even gets KO'd here by Jumpla. Oh, he's going to reset stamp. I mean, there goes my turn one Lily. That's fine, though. That hand was kind of weird anyways. We didn't really have much to work with. Right, Cynthia. Assuming they don't get the knockout here, that'd be amazing, but they probably will. It's a good thing we got that Mew out of the way, though. I doubt they're playing two. Uh, please don't hit a supporter here. Good. I was going to say, because we do play ten supporters, even though we have eight in the deck figuratively, assuming one is not prized. Ooh, a Molga coming down. That could be a good target for Buzzmosa and also for the uh, Noivern spam. We can't even really do Noivern right now anyways because of all the hop-ups in play because they just heal anyways. Well, not heal, but they get taken off the board, so all that damage we do is pointless. But I really gotta hope they don't have the jump bluff here. If they don't have it, we can take another prize. Or we can also potentially reach... Ooh, we got rid of a custom catcher. Uh, and then we can potentially switch into Noivern and try to spread. I don't know what the play is. Okay, he doesn't have it. If custom catcher gives him a skip plume energy, I give up with this game. I really do. I sw Bro, did you actually just get the skip plume energy? What? No, this guy did not just get the skip bloom energy off that custom catcher. You do not have it. That is a load of... No, no, you don't have it. You don't have it. You do not have it. There, there's no way this guy actually has a grass energy and a skip bloom. Okay, good. That's probably going to get him the grass, though, unfortunately. We'll see, though. Of course it does. I. That's a joke. <laughs> that's actually a joke. This guy actually gets it. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. He's out of custom catchers now, though, which is good. That is very, very annoying, though. Very, very frustrating and annoying. All right, well, Cynthia, see what this gives us. Okay, we got a Buzzmosa, which is pretty good. No other Spirit Tombs, unfortunately. I mean, I can go for a Boom Burst here. 
mean, if it's possible we can wipe out all these Amulgas, that can be one of our win conditions. So I guess we'll go for Boom Burst. We can also knock him out Beast Game next turn too, possibly. And I might want to start doing that before he really racks up his prizes, or his uh, loss zone. <laughs> oh man, those Custom Catchers, bro. Those Custom Catchers, I can't believe he actually got it. I can't believe he actually got the KO there. So we can sledgehammer him here. Which I think is what I'm going to go for. So one of our ways we can win is use Beast Game, uh, knock out these Amolgas through multiple Boom Bursts, and maybe a Mew. In total, that's four prizes. I almost brought in the Noi back because I thought I had a free retreat. Um, okay, there we go. We finally got a Spirit Tomb. Start to build this big boy up. Should I bench the Buzz mostly? He's out of Custom Catchers. It's not a bad idea. Lily for six. Ooh. We got our own Custom Catchers. Hmm. I'm actually really tempted to knock out this jump bluff here because then I can beast game knock this out. I actually think that's actually not a terrible idea to be honest with you. I actually don't mind that. Uh, we should probably just burn this other hustle bell. We're not going to need hustle bell in this matchup. Even if he puts his own buzz mostly down. Uh, we'll, we can treasure next turn I guess. We can do it now. Nothing to get rid of though. I would like to play this custom though. Not even to just play it, just to draw a card. Just because we don't really have much going on in our hand. But we can always treasure next turn and manipulate that hand size. Because we're probably going to play the rainbow or anything, so we should be fine. As long as it's our two cards we get here, next turn aren't bad. Spirit Team's good. So he can knock me out, because I didn't knock out the one with the energy. But I can then beast game it. Well, I guess he could always knock me out though with something else if he gets enough Pokemon the Lost Zone. Might actually be a little risky to knock him out Beast King. If he doesn't actually evolve these things either, we could just sweep them with Noivern. That might actually be really good too, just knock out all those Hop Hips. I think I'm actually going to do that. And ooh, we do have that ability available to us to knock out all of his Hop Hips. Disrupt the Snow Run too, because putting damage on Snow Run is also really relevant. And then we can win with Beast King. Alright, we have our... Uh... Little uh, checkmate on board. Okay, we'll treasure away the Pokecom because we just bench the spirit too. We can play down our entire hand here. Right, this seems really, really good. Just sweep all these hop hips. And one more Noivern does mean. I, yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, should I have all the. Well, obviously. Uh, how many rainbows do we have left? Because we're going to need one for Beast King. Hmm. Unfortunately, we didn't really get much to attack with Buzzmos, though. But, that's fine. We can still... We can still go with, um... Still go with the, uh, units for Spirit Tomb. We can still attack Spirit Tomb, which isn't the end of the world. You can't knock out Buzzmos anymore, which is good. If we had another Noibad there, we would have just won the game, probably. We need to find a supporter. There we go. Nice. We're cooking. We can actually win with Mew, right? No, 40 HP on both. So that's 40 damage. Yeah, we're not going to win on both. There's a Shine coming down. That actually helps me because I can move the damage onto Spirit Tombs through Jinx. We just need one more Noibat. We can win the game because he's a Mulgus. And I, I, he's not playing two Mews, so we're good. Or we just win by drawing an energy for Buzzmosa. So this should be game here. I think I have to attack with Spirit Tomb, though. I don't really think he can win regardless, even if I do, like, counter or anything. Ah, oh, you... The, tar, the card I top deck is the card we needed to win the game. <laughs> Bruh. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyways, let's go Erica. There's a Dragon Talon. Kind of pointless. Dang it, man. I didn't get a Switch either, because I played two Switch. Ah, oh, that's pretty annoying. Still, though, I don't think we can lose this turn anyways. Or like he can win. We've he's got no hop hips left. 
Snow runs heavily damaged. Even if he goes Frost Last, what can he do? I think this is game. I think this is genuinely game. I don't really think he can win. Dang it, though. Literally, I was so tempted to promote this, but, like, it just wasn't worth it if I don't... If I whiff an energy and I can't knock out that jump plus. Ooh, reset stamp to one. That could be the game breaker. Uh-oh. It might be. Oh, crap. I could still stall with Buzzmosa, though. If he doesn't get the knockout here, I could still maybe buy some time with Buzzmosa. Dude, that reset stamp just screwed me over. Why did I just not promote the Buzzmosa? Uh, this is why having Neuburn in place so good, because you get for retreat. Oh, no. I might have jumped the gun here. Oh, no. he might. He's probably going to get the knockout with Frostlass, and then... Uh, we're in trouble. He doesn't really have much to attack with anymore, which is good, but we're still in trouble. If he does get the KO here, if he doesn't get the KO, we just win, but... Yikes, that reset stamp just screwed me over really badly. We still have all most for Cynthia's. Oh, no, that's game. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's game. And we do a treasure, which wasn't really going to help us. Whew, what a close game. Oh, we prized both Erica's. Really now? Really? Well, that was a close game, because uh, that reset stamp almost could have maybe lost us the game. But yeah, there you go. As you can see, guys, Neuvern is still good, as long as you take out their Mew. And we got really lucky that we were able to get rid of their Mew there in the early game. But yeah, that is the deck for you. It's a pretty cool archetype, as you can see, taking out a Lost March deck there. But yeah, we'll uh, get into the game in just a moment. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to jump into another game with the Neuvern Spirit Tomb deck, see what we run into. Hopefully not Malamar. Lol. Let's see. Looks like we're up against an all-fire deck. This could be Ability Zard, or well, actually, no, it's going to be Green Zard, which might be a little tough. We'll see. It's not, not a perfect matchup. If we start with Buzz Mosa here, I'm going to cry. Yeah, it looks like it is a Green Zard. Oh, no. Oh, we got the shorthand of the stick. We have a pretty bad hand. No supporter. No other basic outside of a Pokecom. They are not playing a greens deck. They're playing a baby Blacephalon deck. Ooh. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Okay. Bit of a weird match, but okay. We'll treasure away the power plant. I don't think we're going to need abilities. We'll get ourselves... I guess Jinx. I don't know. I think Spirit Tomb's going to be our main attacker here, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, though, our opening hand is kind of pitiful. We'll keep the uh, Neuvern in hand because we can then retreat. I mean, we have the switch, but, like, still. No, we'll just pass. If he goes for a Blazer, we can put more damage on Spirit Tomb, which is pretty nice. We can knock out the Blacephalon through... Um, Anguish Cry with a Hustle Belt next turn, most likely, which is nice. Well, assuming he damages me, or we draw Rainbow Energy. This is going to be a really weird matchup, though. I don't really know how I feel about playing against a Baby Blacephalon deck. That's going to be very weird and awkward. It's not really a matchup I was prepared for, which is a little annoying, because it's like, bruh, who plays this still? Alright. If he knocks me out Blazer, I'm going to cry. I've never been knocked out by Blazer before. Yeah, boom, nice. And we just got knocked out with Spirit Tomb. Okay, cool. What do we draw? Custom Catcher. So we can Ultra Space here for Buzzwool to get ready for a Sledgehammer on this thing. I don't even think he's playing. I honestly don't think he's playing Custom Catcher. There's no way Sky would be able to fit in Custom Catcher in this deck. This is a pretty tight deck, in my opinion, on space. I doubt he has room for. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Custom for two. No, still nothing good. We did get a beast energy, though. Which I guess helps out a little bit. And we'll knock him out. See what our prize is. Another custom. So we don't really need this in this matchup, so I guess we can kind of just burn our custom catchers at will. Let's see if Spirit Tomb gets KO'd here. He's going to need to... Only need one energy, so we need four energy here to knock me out. I guess she does have the Welder and the Fiery Flint, never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I said, oh, let's see if Spirit Tomb gets knocked out. I'm a little concerned about potentially Lusamine Prism Star, though. That's not going to be fun. 
We really just need to make sure we have an army of spirit tomb. That's how we're gonna win. It's just straight up with spirit tomb. Like we have our sledgehammer turn, but we really need spirit tomb. I mean, if we can get off two boom bursts, we could win with a beast game too with a beast energy essentially because that'd be 120 in total. So that is also one thing we can maybe do. I don't know if we can win by like just knocking it out every single turn. I don't know if we can keep up with that, especially when we have no other spirit tombs here. We're not gonna get a prize this next turn here, as you can see. Lieutenant Surge gets discarded. Actually, it's interesting my opponent didn't play that Lieutenant Surge's strategy. They are behind in prizes here, unless they have another one in their hand. Which if they do, that is two they have to burn, which is pretty nice actually. Kinda wish I had black market in this deck too, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's just better with what we got. We might have to just go bring in Noivern here, maybe just Boom Burst. And then go Sledgehammer next turn, assuming we can find energy. We really though, we're in desperate need of finding Spirit Tombs. There's a Volt coming down. That's actually kind of annoying because High Heat Blast could just flat out knock out my Spirit Tombs without really even needing any damage modifiers. Okay, so just one energy knocks me out. They could have honestly went for a Blaze or two to potentially kill me. Yeah, annoyingly, we're not going to get the KO on this Blacephalon. We'll see what we draw. They didn't take the Welder off the prizes. Another Noiban. Okay, well, you can at least play that thing down. Not gonna get anything here. I mean, I guess we have to switch. Just to do custom catcher. Supporter! There we go. Hey, more spirit tunes. Not bad. Not a bad thing. And we'll pass. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything this turn. Would have been nice to do Boom Burst. Get any damage on this Vault too in the Blacephalon. But he has together a 3 energy to KO me here, so yeah. Ooh, a Blounce GX. That's a, if he plays that down, that's another target we could have to knock out with Anguish Cry. Now, the odds my opponent is playing Customs, I want to say is a little low, like... I don't know. Oh, no, they have custom in the deck. It's in their discard pile. I'm an idiot. How do we even have room for custom catcher in a baby Blacephalon deck that needs fiery flints and fire crystals? And I, my mind is blown. My mind is actually blown. We actually need to find Tapu Fini, too. Forgot we have that in the deck. I don't know if it's prized or not. I guess we can Pokecon for Tapu Fini next turn, but I do want to go for a building spite here. But yeah, we do need Fini here, but Fini might be better off later on. I don't know. We, we have a lot of things to one-shot. We only Spirit Tomb, Buzzle, Sledgehammer turn coming up. But Feeny's definitely going to be really good. So they got to get rid of three energy here to knock me out, which is nice. They at least have to go a little overkill on the energy. Oh man, I wish we had a reset stamp. We could probably win with reset stamp too. Not really looking forward to what might happen next though. I don't know. This is going to be a really close game, though, guys. I I don't know if we can win, but at the same time, it's going to be close. We have a shot of winning. It's just we got to get really lucky. And so far, we're not really getting lucky, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so we can actually do quite a bit here. We can get the Nyla Higo. We're not going to need this. We can Poke Comet back. Feeny is in the deck. Okay. We got Noivern. Actually, nah, maybe I didn't need to do that. I didn't want to get the Feeny, though. I don't want to... If Feeny gets knocked out, there's, like, one potential attacker. Gone. You know? Not worth it. Yeah, it's the turn we're going to build up our Spear Tombs. Sucks we had to burn that Hustle Belt. Hey, Feeny and an Energy. Not bad. What's our prize looking like? Custom Catcher. Okay, I'll take it. Haven't seen a Cynthia yet. Have not seen one of our Cynthias yet, which is a little unfortunate. Should draw one soon, though. 
I might have to go with a Fini knockout here, possibly, depending on what happens. My opponent most likely will get the knockout. They didn't take the welder off the prizes, though. So I don't know if they already have a welder in their hand or not. Okay, they do. They still need to get rid of three energy to KO me, though. So they still need to have a lot of energy to knock me out. They only have only played two... Well, actually, two fire crystals isn't bad, actually. If I'm gonna not get knocked out. Okay. They are gonna bum that Ultra Space. That's sad. The Ultra Space actually was helping us quite a bit. So yeah, I think we knock him out with Feeny here. It might be better to save Feeny for, like, a Cephalon GX, but, like, they're probably gonna save that till the end of the game. So, we're probably just gonna knock him out with Feeny here. We can... We need just more time to keep doing building spite. So we'll knock him out with Feeny, I think. Still, though, I don't know if we can win. I really don't. This is not going to be an easy win to take, in my opinion, guys. This is going to be a very close game for sure. I don't know how much energy they have, but they are just not stopping. Which is kind of frustrating. They've discarded 8, 11, 12. 12 energy. Assuming they have a few prized. They gotta run out of energy soon. Man, I really wish I had reset stamp in the deck, though. That would go a long way right now. Reset stamp would really go a long way. Uh, we have, once again, they need to commit three energy to knock me out. Which is pretty good. Uh, what do I do here? Do I treasure? I think we can get rid of the switch, because we have no other in play. I do want to burn that just because we want to go for Lily. Dragon Talon. There's a Hustle Belt. I like to see it. Alright, let's see. Again, we need him. I mean, we're forcing our opponent to keep committing energy, which is nice, but we're running out of tankier attackers. Like, Buzzle's done. Feeny will most likely get KO'd here, too. That's our last Bocephalon, though, which is good. Uh, we do have a custom, so if we can find our other custom here, if they do Lusamine, we can knock out that bulk. They can't do Lieutenant Surge while they're Lusamine, though, in the same turn. I don't know, I might have to, might have to consider looking at Bocephalon soon for a video. This thing's actually made a comeback in, in the standard form. A lot of people thought, like, this Bocephalon archetype was a dead archetype going into the new format. Honestly, though, my opponent is showing that it might actually be better. Not to mention this card is starting to see playing abilities are now. So, like, I don't know. This Bocephala might actually be something to consider looking at in a future video. Man, they are not slowing down, though. They have unlimited energy somehow. I don't get it. How much, like, what the frig? Six energy plus eight. And they reset stamp me. Okay. Okay, we still got energy. Somehow we didn't find a signal. How we know? Bro, where's our Cynthia's at? <laughs> I don't know where the Cynthia's are at. Pretty annoying. Eleven. Fourteen. Wow, that's a lot of energy. They gotta be low on energy. It's, okay, <laughs> about time. I guess I should have hearthed away the Hoopa. That would have been a nice idea, but you know what? Who cares? Okay, so... I think... I think this knocks him out, right? Anguish Cry. That's 130, right? Yeah, we're doing 130. Here I am trying to type up calculator. They didn't take the welder, so they might not actually be able to knock me out here with high heat blast. That's not bad. Ooh, double custom. That's big. It's really big. Okay. Do I want to bench this other tomb? We don't have Feeny anymore. Yeah, I think we will. We can do Jinx shenanigans on this thing. I don't know. Let's just do this. All right. The fact they didn't take that welder is big. There's a buzzle. As you can see, guys, this is very close. How many... Have we knocked out other Bocephalons? We have. Okay. So, this is it, folks. This is it. There is a loud airplane outside my, my uh, room. I am so sorry if you hear that loud engine from the airplane. 
Ooh, they bumped the shrine. That's pretty bad. Really, we just need to find our last hustle belt to knock this thing out, but we'll see if we can. Like I said, guys, this was going to be a very close game, and it is indeed a very close game. They had another energy in their hand, though, what, that heat factory? Bro, what do you mean? I mean, I would expect them to play, like, 15 energy, but, like, jeez. Like, holy cow. They ain't slowing down. And they have a Brock's Grit. Oh, rip. I was gonna say they have no way to get their Blacephalons back, and then they just play a Brock's Grit. <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> like, bruh. Well, they can Ultra Space to search, which is good. I don't know if they're playing Pokecom or if they even have anything in their hands, so that's a good sign. And I still don't think Spirit Team's going down this turn. So, something of the world. They could switch and Bursting Burn me, but then, you know, they run the risk of us winning the game. So, I don't know. I think I am going to custom that Bilcephalon, though. I mean, they could go for a Flare Starter, but, like, is that worth it for them? We knock this out. All we need is one prize. It's not too hard to take, I don't think. Do we have another Shrine? We should, right? Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, Flare Starter. Okay. So I have two options. I can knock this out. And I gotta knock out one more thing. Or I can dig for that Hustle Belt. You know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just bring this in. <laughs> We're going for it, folks. I might be able to win the game here. Might be able to win the game. Well played. It's not over yet. Do we have our Hustle Belt? It is in the deck. Okay, we just gotta dig for it. We'll give him the well played, even though it is non game over in the slightest. It is far from game. Assuming we don't whip the Hustle Belt anyways. Cynthia, come on. Hustle Belt. We didn't find it. Okay, we did get the Shrine though, which is good. Getting Shrine is important. 10 damage off though, but still, if they can't bump the Shrine, we win. Dang it! The Hustle Belt wouldn't want to come out! That's what I get for playing it. But we can also win with Noivern, we can win with Mew, assuming we find an energy. That's the other thing. That's why I was sketched about bringing this thing, because it's like, I can bring it in, go all in, knock it out, or not. But then my other alternative is hit it really hard, knock it out with Mew or Noivern. Or Jet Punch. There's, I don't know. <laughs> this game ain't over yet, obviously. My opponent can't win this turn, which is good. They need to switch and High Heat Blast me. Oh, they counter my Stadium, bruh. No energy, though, either to sweep the Blacephalon up is pretty annoying, too. I, maybe I should have really just taken the knockout. But again, they might not even be able to move this thing. There's a green. Hmm. They could custom out the Jinx or the Mew. Or they, really, they could bring out the Jinx. I don't know, man. I told you this game was going to be close. I told you this game was going to be close. Yep, they're gonna custom my Jinx, which is annoying. We don't have any switches left. Man, we still have a decent amount of supporters. We still have two Lilies, two Cynthias, one Erica. We still have a few energies in the deck to draw into to move the Jinx out of the active spot. I don't know why that Cynthia just gave us like four Pokemon that we do not need. Oh, oh, they're just gonna let us win. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, I was gonna say, I thought they were gonna custom the Jinx out. Let's see what we would have drawn, though, assuming we would have drawn what we would have drew. A lily. Okay. All right, that's game. <sighs> that was a pretty intense match. But yeah, I think we'll wrap the day's Peace Show video here, guys. Oh, of course we prized both the Cynthia and the Erica. That's two games now where Erica did not want to come out and play, and it was just hiding in the prizes. But I'm going to wrap the day's Peace Show video here, guys, with the Noivern Spirit Tomb deck. I think we showed up the deck pretty well. We uh, accomplished what we wanted to do. Um, I do like this deck a lot, though. I think this deck is fun to play. It has potential to be a decent archetype. It's definitely... Biggest Achilles heel is Malamar, but, like, because of Boom Burst, maybe Malamar's not too bad, because, like, spamming Boom Burst on Malamar is actually pretty good. I don't know. I do think this deck is fun. It's, you know, better suited for tag team matchups, obviously. Not so much, like, Malamar. But other than that, we didn't play against Malamar, so it doesn't matter. But that's all of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm on the road to reaching 6,000.
1,000 subscribers. And of course, guys, make sure to always check out the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG, to order your PTC Joe codes there. Get them all there. Use my discount code, code LEF, for that 5% discount on your order. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Follow me on Twitter down below, too. I forgot to mention, lol, kappa.